Um, before we get out of basketball, we spoke about this last week. Uh, you know, that, that rule change has made it hard for a couple of superstars. Uh, the, the two biggest names, though, James Harden and, and, and Damian Lillard. James Harden has only had one game this season where he scored more than 20 points. Um, I mean, at least the Nets are actually still winning basketball games. Um, but it, this is, has been a rough season for, for James Harden. I, I don't know if, you know, if we see the old James Harden anymore, like that, that might be an afterthought with this rule change. Well, there's a couple of things to pay attention to. One, James Harden is out of shape again to start a season, um, which is, is, is completely unexcusable, inexcusable because you're a professional athlete, at least show up in some sort of shape. And you're where um, you wanted to be. The second point I want to make to this, though, and, and you're right, we may never see the MVP level Harden again because he truly lived at the free throw line. I mean, it was a guy who was shooting yeah. double digit free throws every night. But I want to ask specifically the, the, the listeners and the supporters and the viewers who love to say things like, oh, these players could have played in any era. What well, is the prime example that some of these guys could not have played in any era? Because now that the free throw numbers are down, Dame is averaging right at 20, maybe a little less. This is like the lowest he's ever averaged since his rookie year. Yeah. Harden, this is the lowest he's averaged since he's left OKC. Mm -hmm. um, there was a point this year, uh, Devin Booker was averaging under 20. He might be just above it now. He's, yeah, he's, he's over it now, but yeah, but he started off the season struggling. This isn't to knock those guys' skills, but this is what I always remind some of the younger listeners. The game was completely different in the 70s, 80s, and 90s where you were allowed to get very physical with guys and they didn't live at the free throw line. Yeah. Right? You had to have skill to be able to score because the ref wasn't going to bail you out with ticky-tack fouls unless you get two free throws. Yes. So the game is starting to slowly transition back to that. It's starting to get back to a point where the refs are not going to bail you out. They're not going to penalize good defense because you're able to jump into the defender with one second left on the shot clock. And yeah. now the skill has got to show. So the elite is still going to be the elite, but the guys who were just underneath that elite level, now they kind of come back to the pack now because it all evens out. You're not getting 10 free throws a game now. Yeah. And so here's, here's my, my, my question is, you know, with a guy like James Harden, when we have the discussion of, well, who could play in this era and, and couldn't play in this era, who could, you know, you know, prior to this season, I probably would have said James Harden could have played in any era. But looking at how things are going this season, I'll, James James Harden wouldn't have been an MVP candidate if he was playing in, in, in the 90s. No way. No I'm way. Sorry. No way. I think James Harden is a phenomenal scorer. I think he would have been able to score the basketball in any era. Yeah. But the difference is the numbers get inflated when, again, you're going to the free throw line 10 to 12 times a game. Yeah. Because – you know, if you're, if you're making eight out of 10, nine out of 10, those are free points that a lot of guys in previous eras never got. Yeah. You know, for, for, if you look at, and, and excluding Mike, any other scorer from that eighties and nineties era, nobody was going to the free throw line that much. So imagine if Reggie Miller got to go to the free throw line 10 times a game, Reggie Miller, Reggie Miller was a 90% free throw shooter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about a guy who, on the surface, average about 21, 22 a game, you giving him an extra eight to nine free points a night. Now he looks like a completely different player when you look at the resume. Yeah. You know, John Stockton led the league in, in free throw shooting for, for years. Another guy who, yeah, when you look at it on the surface, you're like, oh, he only averaged about 16 and 11. Well, give him 10 more free throws. And now he's averaging 28, I mean, 24 and 11, right? 24 and yeah. 11. Now it's like, wait a minute. We, we talking about what, probably the greatest point guard ever. Exactly. So, Push him up to, to number two. Right. <laughs> right. So that's what I keep trying to remind some of our, our listeners and viewers. Like, you know, to say a guy could automatically play in an era, you got to take all the elements. Could yeah. he play defense in that era? Could he actually survive the, the grind of that era? You know, could he, would he be allowed to do the things that he does now in that era? Because a lot of guys would not be allowed to do the things they do now in that era. You couldn't just stand around the perimeter and dribble the ball until you got the, the perfect shot. You yeah. had to be in position and be ready to go. Yep. So it's, it's, it's a whole different ball game. We're getting back, like I said, getting back to that to that 90s, 80s style of, of basketball. Obviously not, not the physicality part of it, but 
all that forcing fouls and in the bailout calls that stopped this season. And we're seeing who's the true superstars and who's the guys that got that push. Because like you said, Eric, you know, them 10 free throws a game make a huge difference on, on, on the stat sheet and on your, you know, on your scoring average. And that's going to make you look better than a lot of guys because, you know, if you're averaging, I think James Harden was averaging 25 last season, but before he left Houston, he was at around between 28 and 30 most right. of those most of those Houston years. That's a big difference. If you're talking yeah. about going from 30 to, 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 to less than 20. Right. And again, you're getting 12 free throws a night. And the, and the other aspect of that, too, is if I can't guard you without following you, you get a lot of uncontested shots. Yeah. How many times have we seen defenders literally put their hands behind their back guard and harden because they're scared of the whistle being blown? Exactly. For the shot. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like you're giving a guy who already is, is a high caliber offensive talent, no hand in his face on a release. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, imagine. Well, going to make those. Right. And, and when we talk about the elite guys, the elite guys can play in any level, in, in any era. LeBron can play in any oh, era. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Durant can play in any era. Ana de Kumbo could play in any era. Yes. Steph Curry could play in any era. But there are certain guys right beneath that that you like, mm, what would it look like if they didn't get the bailout calls? Exactly. We're we going to see. This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You're watching Real Friends, Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Live from the camp. Live the camp. Uh-huh. This is Hi, Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you 